Abraham? Is Abraham here? Freedom of expression is the peace I hold dear like my heart and my hand making me feel alive. And my words are my babies that have not been artificially inseminated to our natty birth faith in the life through this puss like all lips. Continue to speak to the common folk of men's and women's souls with my conscious poetic symphonies of true tales. Because the truth never fails when it brings prolific it change as these words escape my chamber of change and too little thought. The restlessness of fighting on a daily basis. Faces of common men live by death in their fathers. Young tongues of hopes new come with redemption to the masses. And mm -hmm. I'm seeing so much time and heartache that my eyes have blisters. Speak the truth and Jeremy shot be back to reality to keep them from being free and dumb. So spit poet, spit poet, spit poet, spit poet, spit to your words, become ancient Caesar, or make Moses come back from the dead and use the bulk and the minds of stereotype curses. Cause I spit so that the chains of pain of ancestors past and shackles of fear no longer roll down my youth. And spit with my head held high till nightmares die, my mouth gets dry and God no longer has to cry over his children with rainstorms of sorrow. I ask you, will you spit or swallow? Hmm. To me, swallowing would be killing my local liberation, silencing the social litigation that uncrucified my birth Babylon I call Brooklyn. The measure of my Atlantic will is long and hard, it goes for yards. And I'll spit to the walls, my mouth and tongue are dried in the sands of time's last grain. And the corridors of my soul reach kingdom come. Now is the time. With reason and rhyme. You won't let your soul become another chalk outline at Lucifer's feet. Use the mystical powers of this blessed tool to unlock the treasure chest with our hearts. Launch lethal loogies to fill these empty buckets of character common man is lost. At times I've hit roadblocks more colder than words by Robert Frost on this journey. I turn to the revolutionary poet inside me, beside thee, to say the suicide landmines of your dying breed. Using these words that may become royalty to crown the heights of mine and your courage and future seeds of change that's gonna come. Ratifying life's illustration to create the nationwide hood declaration of independence my brothers and sisters can live by. I ask you again, will you spit or swallow? If you swallow, that means you would rather choke on the meat of old slave masters, welcome social disasters, and encourage more bloody Sundays a month in a menstrual cycle. I do this for the young sister on the Franklin Avenue station bench with her face and hands, because he's going through it right now. And that the power of true tongues will extinguish your pain. Also hoping the life stains dirty in her soul can be removed. Thank you.